El Nino, it's official now. It's been declared by NOAA. We want to talk a little bit more about what that means, but what is it going to mean for our weather here at home? You know, you're going to talk about it a little bit more, yeah. but El Nino, you've got some warmer ocean waters in certain places that you'll show us, but warmer, does that also mean warmer temperatures here at home? So we'll get into that, but you also are going to help explain what El Nino even is. Yeah, it's a bit of a confusing topic, especially it when it's something that happens all the way out in the Pacific. How could that yeah. really relate to weather here in right. Arkansas? But it's something we've been keeping an eye on recently because we were under a La Nina for a good three years and then as we moved into the spring we saw a neutral pattern and now that we've started June we've actually seen it become declared. So now as we take a look at ocean temperatures in the Pacific we can see a big change has occurred. Looking at the ocean temperatures along the Pacific we can see that there is a change that has happened in the last few months. Taking a look at the ocean temperatures along the equatorial Pacific we can see that there's quite a change. We can see that there's anomaly in a critical zone in the Pacific Ocean. Right along the equator here is a section called the El Nino 3.4 zone. The, the specifics aren't really important other than the fact that we're seeing above average temperatures in this region of the Pacific. And this region in particular has a strong influence on ocean currents across the entire Pacific. And actually it has a good correlation with what's happening in the atmosphere along the equator, which acts like a conveyor belt for some of those storms and energy that move across the world and that's going to have an impact as we move into our summer months and into our fall and winter months here in not only North America but also in parts of the central United States including Arkansas. So what does it look like as we move into the next few months along El Nino? We just saw that really begin as we moved into the start of June but as we move into the rest of the summer we're going to see not only El Nino continue but it's going to continue to intensify. We were in a La Nina for the start of the year, and then we went to April. We saw more neutral to slightly above average temperatures. Now that we're in May, we're in El Nino. We're going to increasingly see the warmer temperatures along the Pacific, and it could have some more drastic impacts for us here at home. Now I'm going to send it back over to Matt. We'll have a breakdown on what to expect here in Arkansas for the summer. It's pretty crazy that something so far away can impact our weather here at home. But Stephen, you said something very crucial, intensifying. El Nino. So we took a look back all the way since 1950 for Arkansas and we looked at intensifying El Nino's where it started right around 0.5 and went to about 1.0 degrees Celsius and sometimes even closer to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And we found six years that really correlated with what we are seeing so far for this year. Well, when you look at those past six years, this is what happened generally across Arkansas we had some slightly cooler weather. Now there were some of the years where we had about average, but overall what we mean to tell you is that El Nino typically, even though it's warmer towards the south, typically brings some slightly cooler or just average summer like weather. So is it gonna get hot? For sure. But are we gonna probably have massive heat waves like we've had the past couple of summers? We've had some La Nina summers. The past two summers have been much warmer than normal. That may not be the case this summer. We're probably gonna get some cooler weather. And you can see over here for the past uh, for those six years, about 40% of them were colder, 45% of them were about average. So we're probably going to be somewhere here, but only 15% were warmer. One reason why they were a little bit cooler was thanks to some rainfall. This is generally the map that we've seen across Arkansas over and over again for a strengthening El Nino. Southern parts of Arkansas, we actually trend to be a little bit drier, but the majority of the state from about I-40-ish, give or take 30, 40 miles into the north, we've had wetter than normal summers. A little bit more rainfall definitely helps, helps cool us down a little bit. And that's even stronger once you head into northwest Arkansas and parts of the mountains all the way north to Mountain Home and just north of uh, Searcy. And then uh, once you get to Fayetteville, the Bentonville and Bella Vista, definitely a little bit wetter than normal, but about 50-50, 50, 50, 50 of them were wetter and then the rest were in between average or drier. But generally, the north half of Arkansas gets a little bit more rain in a strengthened El Nino, and that in turn helps us get a little bit cooler. So is how hot this summer gonna be? It's gonna be hot, but maybe we won't have long stretches of huge heat waves with 100 degree weather over and over. We had that some of the past couple of years. Hopefully we get a break for summer 2023.